not a question of if net zero homes are going to be built. It's a question of when they're going to be built. The government has asked builders to build net zero homes by 2030. So by 2030, every home built in Canada should be net zero. So it's not a question of if, it's when it's going to happen. And from what I've seen with the builders on the program, we are going to be there sooner than later. Welcome to Green Energy Futures, your guide to the green energy revolution that's already underway. Hi, David Dodge here for Green Energy Futures. Edmonton, Alberta is already a hotbed of net zero homes. But the rest of Canada is now getting in on the action. This week we head to Guelph, Ontario to check out the first two of 25 net zero homes that are being built under the Federal Eco Energy Program. And we have uh, five builders across Canada. We have Mattamy in Calgary. We have Minto and Reed's Heritage Homes in Ontario. We have Construction Voyer in Quebec. And we have uh, Providence Developments in Nova Scotia. So all five builders are production builders and they're going to be building affordable net zero housing. Reed's Heritage Homes in Guelph, Ontario is clearly keen to be involved. They have one nearly completed net zero home and the second of five already under construction. The, the purpose of it is for all of us to be able to learn exactly what goes into a net zero home. What are the efficiencies that are learned from that, as well as what are some of the cost benefit factors and uh, how can we market it, as well as what benefits the end user actually gets out of this. And while it's awesome to build an airtight, energy efficient home, they've also discovered an interesting marketing hook beyond the whole energy angle. One of the things that we learned from this is the, the health benefits that we're seeing is far outside of the scope of what most people were thinking about, well, with the net zero. Most of the time people think just energy dollars and what's the cost of electricity today. But what we're actually finding is it's a more comfortable, healthy home to live in. And that aspect is one that we're really trying to promote within our homes and with our salespeople. For their first net zero house, it was an additional sixty to $70,000 to make the house net zero. And while you pay more up front, you reap the rewards down the road. Cost-wise, the, the net zero homes, without question, are, are going to be more expensive than, than a code-built home. But when you take into account code-built homes, you're investing all this money into a home that's going to be obsolete in five years' time. In other words, a code-built home today, you can't build legally five years from now. So why would you want to invest money in a code-built home when you can invest money into, a, into an Energy Star home or a net zero home that'll pay you back? But enough talking about the house, let's check it out. Uh, my name is Jennifer Weatherson. I am the Director of Innovation at Reed's Heritage Homes and welcome to our net zero home. It's got an 8 kilowatt solar PV array to generate electricity, but they ended up adding a section on the rear porch just to fit all of the solar in. But beyond the solar, the building envelope is just as important. This home has a 2x6 wall with R24 bat insulation, 1 inch of code board, 5 eighths of OSB, and 2 inches of code board on the outside. So we have an effective R value of R38 uh, in our wall assembly. Uh, couple that with triple pane windows which add another layer of insulation that takes away the cold feeling in the winter when you're sitting drinking your coffee and you can feel the draft coming off the window. With triple pane you do not have that feeling uh, as well as it takes down the noise of your neighbors so you have that noise reduction and uh, increased comfort in your home. They super insulated the attic to R60 and they insulated the foundation walls as well as under the foundation floor. So the third most important part of the home is the HVAC system. So with the home being so much more insulated and airtight, we didn't need a large conventional furnace. So these homes actually will have a heat pump on the outside of the home, which will address the heating and cooling for the occupants. Add that with a backup heater, which addresses each of the zones that are in the home. Um, these will ensure that there's heat to each level uh, when required with the backup air handler uh, unit as well. This house has got all the usual net zero goodies, like a heat recovery ventilator, drain water heat recovery, an air source heat pump water heater, and this home even has a three-day backup battery system. There you have it this builder's first take 
on a net zero home. But as Jennifer explains, the lessons are coming fast and furious. In adapting for a production environment uh, and keeping the cost down with an eight kilowatt array, we ended up putting on a rear covered porch on this home so that we could get the panels we needed. On the next homes, we've lowered the pitch on the rear of the home and pushed the ridge line forward so we could actually fit all the panels needed on the home and therefore save in the cost of construction. You can see the lessons learned already in their second net zero home. Reed's Heritage Homes modified their home design to accommodate more solar. They took their multi-layered wall design and simplified it to a 2x8 wall with added foam insulation on the outside. And batteries will not be included with the next home. The goal of the Eco Energy Net Zero program is to help builders get closer and closer to building us affordable net zero energy homes. To learn more about these net zero homes, head to greenenergyfutures.ca. We've got a photo gallery, podcast, and a blog. If you like the video, please subscribe to our channel and check out our other videos. Stick around to the end of the credits for a link to one of our favorites. For Green Energy Futures, I'm David Dodge. Want to learn where the real sweet spot is for geothermal heating and cooling? Watch our Geothermal 201 episode by clicking on the video. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We've got a new video every two weeks.